Join us tonight as we chronicle one man's fame, glory, and the moment he threw it all away. This is Inside the Athlete. Yeah, um, you know, I was a real mess for a while. Uh, and you know, I wasn't always like that. Uh, I, I was at the top of my game. Straps like these adorn every possible item in his life. A product, he says, of a paranoia traced back to his greatest mistake. A mistake which took place the night of the World Championships in 2007. Tonight, Inside the Athlete brings you exclusive first-hand accounts from people who were there. I was there. I was, I was in the stands. I was watching. I was there that night. I saw what he did. The following audio was rebroadcast by permission of Dom and Don, Sports Radio TKUI. Dom, after 12 days of competition, it looks like our returning champion has made it through with relative ease. Yes! This should be easy, Don! Easy indeed. I expect the final round should be trouble-free as long as he sticks to his strategy. I agree, Don! I expect we'll see a number of 120s thrown, just like he's been doing. However, it's always possible he will mix it up with the... Dom, what, what does it look like he's doing right now? I... BAM! He took off the strap! He is going strapless. He's free-stringing it for the final round. I've never seen something like this before. He free-strapped it. I saw that thing fly through the crowd. It's called a twist of fight. The Toff Maneuver, Dom! The Toff Maneuver, if done properly, could be the single most amazing thing we've ever seen in the history of this sport. Or it could be dangerous, Dom! Oh my god, there's, there's fire. The humanity! People are on fire, there's burning everywhere. That kid's face is falling off! I see limbs flying everywhere. A year later, we catch up with this broken man under the guise of a documentary film crew interested in his new folk music career. Yeah, so, you know, one day I get home and uh, I thought you guys, you know, you guys were there. You know, turns out it was some sort of uh, grand intervention. So I walk up the stairs and I try the lock and, uh, and of course my key doesn't work. And so I bang on the door and my, my roommate peeks his eyes out. I jangle my keys at him and I say, what's up with the locks, man? My key isn't working. Uh, and he says, your key will work when you get your shit together. Your key will work when you get your shit together. As you can see from our footage, the intervention seems to have had a positive effect, punctuated by the return of his old coach as he prepares for this year's World Championships. My Palestinians, your blood ran red that day so I could be a champion. A twist of fate, spinning wild and free. If I hold it in my hands again Then what's this going to cost me? My selfish turn By the time this feature airs, he will have competed in this year's World Championships. And he assures us it will not be the last time. Whether this is true or not will only be discovered on a future edition of Inside the Athlete. And I pray for you Wish I could say to you